Boa tarde, pessoal. Nós acabamos de ter a palestra da Juliana. E eu tenho a honra de ter aqui no nosso estúdio Rakesh Shalia. É, ele é o diretor de marketing da FedEx. E ele deu a honra de, de conceder uma entrevista pra gente. So, first of all, thank you very much for being here with us. Uh, I just have one question. Uh, you were probably the first and the only one who put out something about the physical thing about e-commerce. So, could you tell us a little bit more about the, your idea about this physical thing? Absolutely. Uh, as I was mentioning in my presentation today, this morning, that uh, there are two important components of the e-commerce world. Uh, one is on the digital side. You know, and again, there's a lot of evolution that is happening on the digital front. There's a lot of conversation that we had in this summit about the importance of the different models that are evolving on the digital front. But there is another very, very important component which sometimes tends to take a backseat, which is on the physical side. I mean, we as FedEx today stand as a, at, at a nexus of both physical and digital evolution. You know, and those are the two things that we bring together. As we are continuously seeing that there is an evolution happening on the digital side, there's also an equally important evolution that is happening on the physical side. When, I'm, when I say on the physical side, it primarily means the supply chains. You know, the supply chains are becoming more and more complex, especially when you talk about e-commerce, there are elements and there are challenges out there from a supply chain perspective. How do you make a supply chain very efficient? That's the question that every retailer is asking today. You know, um, there are certain elements in terms of, uh, you know, cross-border e-commerce where there are certain challenges that are preventing the retailers to ship on the cross-border side. Uh, it is in terms of fully landed cost. Uh, they talk about, uh, have concerns about, uh, you know, uh, fraud prevention, uh, returns management, uh, ability to have a fulfillment options. So we have fully realized the, some of these challenges that exist out there on the physical side. And from the FedEx side, we are continuously investing and evaluating how do we continue to expand our networks, make it more robust, to cater to the needs of the e-commerce customers. So one of the things that we have done in US, uh, it's, it's um, in, in, in 2014, we acquired two companies, Bongo and Genco. These bring some specific uh, capabilities to cater to the needs of the cross-border e-commerce. Bongo is a technology platform. Now it has been rebranded as FedEx cross-border e-commerce. And it does meet all these requirements in terms of the landed cost. Uh, it is uh, ensuring uh, uh, multiple payment option. It is the ability to accept uh, currencies um, in, 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 in 80 different uh, kind of currencies, uh, 15 payment different options. So it's, it's a very well robust system and ecosystem that we have created to meet to the needs of the evolving for the, from the physical side. All right, the second question that we have here is about the cold bar to track online shipping. You guys were the first ones to do that. So about the, the investment in the technology. So what you, guys, what you can say that you guys are going to bring for us in the future? So one of the things that is very, very critical for us, and it just clearly comes from our chairman, that the information, the, 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 the information about the package is actually equally or more important than the value of package itself. So... We, we want to be in the forefront of providing the information about the package to our end consumers as well as to our retailers. So we have been continuously investing a lot in our technology to ensure that we provide a very robust solution when it comes to tracking, visibility. One of the things I was talking about during my presentation that when we, and, and, and we are always looking for uh, you know, feedback from our end consumers. The two things that we have seen that come out very loud and clear from our end consumers is they want reliability and they want visibility. So things that we have developed on the tracking side, they really help consumer to get a complete visibility on their shipping on their products and services. So, I mean, uh, we have done, done a lot in terms of investing, in, whether in, in, in terms of power pads, which are the scanning devices that the couriers carry. Uh, we have made it um, a, a lot more user friendly. Uh, we have a, a lot of additional information that we are able to gather uh, in there. In addition to that, specifically on the e-commerce, you know, one of the big challenges that we see for this particular industry is the last mile delivery. More and more consumers who are buying online, they are looking for various and convenient delivery options for the last mile delivery. So in order to enable that, you know, we have, uh, for example, in US, we launched uh, FedEx Delivery Manager. 
that's basically a solution that we are given in the hands of the end consumer where they can choose multiple delivery options if they want the shipment to be delivered at their house do they want to deliver it to their neighbor do they want to deliver to their office you know or do they want to get delivered to a retail location where they can go after work and pick up their packages uh, we have done that the other thing that we recently did in us is called on site it's basically a platform that we have created where we are going to be doing certain alliances with some retail locations where we will provide the convenience for the customers to go and pick up packages one of the things that we recently announced is with a company called walgreens it's one of the largest pharmacies in us they have 8000 retail locations now that's where we are launching on site where a customer will have convenience that they can walk in in some of the stores it's 24 by 7 they are open they can walk in drop off their packages or pick up their packages so it's all about how do you enable the convenience and fedex has created that ecosystem where we are able to bring the technology and our networks together and provide that connectivity and provide that ecosystem to cater to the needs of the e-commerce all right so we just have one last question and uh, one of the main e-commerce problems is the the time the delivery time so how do you guys can uh, go beyond and above to to please those those demanding consumers that's a real challenge I mean especially in emerging markets like Brazil and Mexico and India where the infrastructure is not yet developed as developed as you know uh, uh, big countries like US or, or, or in Europe uh, we, we do understand that there are challenges uh, so we have created a very wide variety on, and a very broad portfolio of products and services to meet the requirements of the customers you know uh, we know that retailers and end consumers are not happy with just a single solution uh, they need multiple shipping options so we have created a wide variety and a wide portfolio of services so on one end of the spectrum we have services that are primarily catering to the low value commodities where the customers really don't care so much about uh, the transit time they are happy even if their goods arrive in 8 to 15 days you know they don't need a very sophisticated tracking there all they are really primarily concern is about is having a lower cost solution so we have created solutions in on that front on the same side there are customers who are looking for a lot more sophisticated shipping for their high value goods for example for iPads or iPhones where they want full tracking where they want complete security of the products and that's where we have we are providing the solutions for a more expedited and uh, solutions and and, and 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 services so we understand the complexities we understand what some of the local marketing market requirements are and uh, based on what um, you know what we see the need of the market uh, and we do you know listen to what our consumers and our customers are saying we do offer them a very uh, robust and a very wide portfolio of services and solutions all right so that was it thank you very much Rakesh for your time de nada. <risos> então foi isso, pessoal. Essa foi a nossa entrevista com o Rakesh. Não percam, dentro de alguns instantes nós teremos mais pessoas para vocês.